Let's add the laminar velocity profile to the the corresponding, you know, the turbulent profile that we have gotten. Keeping in mind that, you know, at this Reynolds number, you cannot get the classic parabolic laminar profile. So we will um, go into the. So make sure you're editing this chart outlet velocity non dime non dime so i'll double click on that and so i'm editing that and i go into the data series tab and i'll scroll up here and i'll say new okay and so that'll add another curve to this plot and i will read the data from a file click on this icon here and go to the suitable directory and select the CSV file that you downloaded from the web page. And the CSV file contains the, the, the laminar velocity profile data in a two column format. And I say apply. And so here it's added the, the classic laminar um, profile and I can go in and change the legend so if I go into the line display tab double click on the second curve here and uncheck use series name for legend name and call that legend laminar Okay, and so I can see that that's changed the, the legend entry here. And so if the flow didn't become turbulent at this Reynolds number, this is the profile that one would get. And so you can see the effect of turbulence. It takes, you know, because of the mixing, it takes these velocity gradients and it makes them much more uniform. To save a copy of this chart, I will go here and click on this camera icon and I can browse to a suitable folder. I like to go up a couple of levels to my main folder and you can give it a suitable file name. I've called it velocity underscore profile and save it. And that should create that PNG file in your, you know, in the chosen folder. And you can include that figure now in, um, in your report. So go back to CFD post and save the project.